What's up, everybody? I'm Jesse Kazam. Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. This is another one of our lessons from Beyond the Grave, where we take a look at a clip from my Twitch stream where I died. We kind of try and figure out what happened and what we could pull from that to be a better player in the future. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you like this video, think about dropping a like, commenting below, or subscribing to the channel. All that stuff really, really helps me out a ton. So thank you so much to those that do that. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So this video is kind of mostly about uh, each death always has multiple elements to it, but we have a few clips to watch. And this one is about making sure to always be checking your corners and checking kind of the opposite direction for the enemy. The setup for this first clip is I'm on shoreline. I'm in the resort. I don't have the first half of the clip uh, against this guy, but it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm pushing a guy. I eliminate an enemy and then I get got on the back end trying to get out of that situation, trying to get away to kind of reload and do stuff like that. So we'll take a look at the clip and then we'll kind of break it down afterwards. So let's check it out. Level 64. My man out here doing work. <sighs> Was he from behind? So, as always, it's frustrating to die, especially after you get a cool kill. So, the beginning of this clip is, once again, um... We're in the resort. I saw this guy a little bit earlier. I'm pushing him. Um, I was really excited about making this play, dropping down on him. I figured he was over here. I was able to push him in here and eliminate this guy. Now, I spent a little bit of time after that, obviously trying to figure out if there is a buddy, hearing audio, and trying to figure out if I'm going to get got. Should I loot this guy? So I feel like I make the right call here to not immediately go for the loot because it's almost never a good idea. You always want to know if there's more than one. Uh, we are in the east wing of the resort, which is a very hot spot for PvP. So I take a minute. I kind of chill. I'm listening for audio. I pre-pop some painkillers, and I'm trying to figure out what to do. Um, I do end up also kind of peeking around the corner to see if uh, I can see anybody. But as you can notice from the clip, I'm constantly exposing my back to the west wing. And that is really my downfall here. Uh, there's a lot to think about. There's always a lot to think about. The nuances, especially of like PvP in the resort, are rough. But in my head, I know the east wing is often more popular than the west wing for PvP, especially early game. People like to congregate there. There's multiple Ledex spawns. There's a bunch of rooms to unlock. People like to get here. I kind of chase this guy around. I've got a loud HK. It's unsuppressed. So I am aware of the right things, which is that there could be other people around, but I'm tunnel visioning myself to the east wing of the resort, exposing my back to the west wing. Now it works out for me there. I'm okay. So I end up going uh, for the loot. I loot the guy. Um, and then my thought is I want to get out of this situation. So once again, the right thought, but not really uh, executing it the right way. So I loud, I'm using a loud HK. The longer I stay in the spot near the firefight, it's is a, is a bad idea. I think I maybe took a little bit too long to loot this guy. I spent quite a bit of time like listening for audio. And sometimes like while that's always a good thing to wait and listen, sometimes if you spend too much time in a place like the resort, it doesn't really take a lot of time. If somebody from the other side of East Wing or even West Wing heard that fight and they wanted to push it, it doesn't take them a lot of time to get there. So in hindsight, I should have taken very minimal time seeing if there was a another person like listening, hearing, trying to identify what was going on. And then I should have got the loot and got out of this situation, uh, especially because of how exposed I am. So I end up looting. And right here, look, you've got down the sky bridge. Uh, enemies can see me if there are enemies there. Like I'm, I'm basically exposed to down the sky bridge um, e e from the first floor of West Wing or the third floor. You could probably look down or up into these windows. The light is coming in this way, so it probably wouldn't be too hard to spot me. 
and I never checked the West Wing ever in my peak earlier and after I loot and come out. I never checked the West Wing. So this is kind of what this Beyond the Grave is about, and we'll see it in the next clip as well. Uh, and this is something I've actually been really actively working towards doing while playing a lot more recently, especially after some of these incidents, is peeking corners a lot more with my gun at the ready. I'm thinking I want to get out of this situation as quickly as possible. I'm sprinting around the corner. But if I had peeked this doorway that I'm looking out towards West Wing, I could have checked Skybridge maybe. I could have swung around and checked the hallway that I checked. But instead of actually pushing out, I could have checked it and then fallen back and then moved back around to check Skybridge. This is a rough, a really rough spot to be for a few different reasons. One, this is a long hallway where people could absolutely be. And right behind me is another long hallway where people could absolutely be. And that's actually where the guy was. He was behind me. So this is a rough spot to be. Um, because there's not a whole lot of ways out. I have to run down this hall or this hall or basically like break the glass and jump out of Skybridge if I wanted to escape a different way. This door is closed, so I can't jump out the balcony. So this is a really rough kind of place to be. And I let myself be here too long. And then I didn't adequately check the corners. I was very tunnel vision on the east wing. I did a decent job at peeking. My eyes are all over the place. I'm looking here. I'm looking at this corner. I'm trying to maybe get into this room or jump over here. And I just get slapped from behind. I never checked the west wing. So something I'm really trying to do is check every corner, kind of pull my gun up a lot more often, keeping it at the ready. And, you know, a lot of times it's not even about... Um, identifying the enemy and shooting them, but giving a quick peek to almost bait a shot out. That guy was kind of ready. So if I peeked Skybridge just to check, just to scan to see if there was an enemy, he probably would have fired at me, exposing his position. And then I could have dealt with that accordingly. I could have gotten to this room, seen if I could have jumped off the balcony here. There's a lot of stuff I could do. So, um, so this clip, don't stay in one place too long. Uh, don't, don't let yourself there, there's that common thing. There's always one more. There's always one more. And if you let that get the best of you, you can actually swing too far the other way and end up sitting in one spot for too long, especially after a firefight where everybody's coming towards you. So we'll take a look at the second clip, also in the resort where something pretty similar happens. So let's take a look at that. Jesus. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just got shot at. I you got know, a heavy bleed. Do you know where from? He's pushing me. Where could he be pushing uh, you from? No. Uh, no idea. I got shot at when I was running in. From the fence line. I'm dead. There's somebody outside by the helicopter and somebody admin pushing in. You're pinched. 100%. So another rough one. This one, I definitely way overexposed myself on that peak. Now, this one is one where audio kind of got the best of me here. You know, I'm talking with my buddy. He gets shot. I hear glass break, which means I know that he was getting shot from outside if he was in the resort. And so I start scanning over here. I'm trying to figure out if they're pushing up because that makes the most sense to me. If there are guys pushing up the front side here and somebody took a shot at them. So what what really gets me is that I start to hear the audio and the unfortunate timing that I start to hear this guy sprinting and he's sprinting up around this corner. Somebody behind me from the admin building is sprinting along the um, glass hallway, pushing into here because he's hearing all these shots and he wants to get in on this action. And you can see me kind of wiggle my mouse around and try and like identify where that audio is coming from. And this is a, uh, a skill that a lot of times is really hard to master and escape from Tarkov, which is if you are engaging on somebody and you hear somebody else, or if you just hear multiple sources of audio, like I would be willing to bet that this guy that I end up shooting at is not the same guy, uh, is not on the same team as the guy that's coming from admin. It's really hard to give up an opportunity for a good kill for the long-term gain of making sure that you're set from every angle. It's really hard to not engage on somebody and potentially miss the fight because you're trying to make sure that you're safe from like every place. Um, and then I really couldn't, you, we can watch that back. The audio really at certain parts of it sounded like both of them were in front of me and this was just a team. And then as it became apparent that this other guy was behind me and not in front of me as well, 
I didn't, I wanted to take the shots on this guy. So we can kind of listen to that part of the clip back really quickly. I got shot at when I was running in. You see me swing around. It kind of sounds like they're both in front of me at this point. From the fence line. And then right there is really when it separates. I see this guy. I see that he's stopped moving and I'm still hearing full sprint out of my right ear more. And I can kind of tell that it's behind me. But once again, it's really hard to give up on an opportunity to kill this guy. I didn't even end up killing him, but I knew this was probably the guy that engaged on my buddy who was to my left. So I take some shots at him, seeing if I can, you know, kind of thread the needle through the fence. And then I, I make the call. I say, hey, there's this guy behind me. So I'm a little late to the call, but I make the call. I say, hey, I need to make sure that I'm safe from behind. That guy's probably not going to repeat soon because I either hit him or scared him off at least temporarily. And I way overexposed here. He ran up. He's actually in an interesting spot. If I had played this better, this would have been my fight probably because this guy maybe knew where I was, but he is very, very exposed. So instead of sprinting through this door, if I had peeked it while I was ADS, I could have potentially shot him or baited him out. I could have thrown the grenade out. I could have peeked, saw him, called to my buddy that there was another guy, and then we could have pinched him. There's a myriad of plays that we could have made, and I almost certainly would have bought myself at least a little bit more time. I was still in a rough spot because he could have thrown a nade in there and then I would have been dead, but I missed an opportunity to at least engage with this guy because I way overextended. I was looking too far left. I had assumed I wasn't expecting him to have full stopped right here. So I was maybe thinking he was pushing out, maybe checking out these windows or going to be behind these boxes. So I kind of checked too far left. And then at that point, I try to engage and I just, he was ready. He was standing still. He was ADS. He was ready. And I didn't really do myself any favors there. So once again, like I said, these past few days, I've really, really been trying to ingrain it in my memory. Every time I walk through a door, every time I, uh, you know, kind of like go around a corner, I'm trying to keep my gun up ready, um, potentially even aiming down sights at about head height and peeking more corners, checking your corners, checking your doorways, um, following that audio. It's really, really important in Escape from Tarkov. A lot of times you having your gun at the ready as opposed to being low while you're sprinting can make the difference between you winning and losing a fight. Um, and especially in a place as volatile as the Shoreline Resort where there could be people just about anywhere at any time. There's not just one or two places people like to be. There's tons of locked rooms. There's tons of ways uh, all the spawns around the resort. There's tons of ways people are going to be entering and exiting. So being at the ready, checking your corners is a really important thing. So hopefully this helped. Uh, I really hope that through watching these clips and breaking it down that you can kind of identify, oh, maybe I died like that a few times or just kind of push through some of the frustration of Tarkov and of dying and identify maybe there's patterns, maybe there's things that we can work on. Uh, there really is a lot of uh, nuance and a lot of things, small things that you can work on that you might be surprised at how often that can flip an engagement and end up bringing you a victory instead of death. Uh, so hopefully videos like this and breakdowns like this help you do that. I encourage you to watch your own gameplay back if you can to figure out where your weak spots are. So hopefully this encourages you to check your corners more often in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. If you like it, think about dropping a like, subscribing to the channel, commenting down below. All that stuff helps me out a ton. Like we said before, I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And uh, if you're looking for people to play with, our Discord link is down below as well. We've got a few thousand people in there from Tarkov veterans to newer players and everywhere in between. It's an awesome place to be. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I will see you all on the next one.